So uh, talk about the impact that the FPGA will have on uh, Moore's Law. Is it something that will extend this a little bit? It gives us a little bit of breathing room in the meantime? I would say that, that you know, an FPGA can accelerate uh, software when you move something in and if it's an amenable workload by about 100x. Yeah. ASICs, you know, are typically 1,000x mm -hmm. uh, in terms of performance per joule. Uh, FPGAs are about 100x. And so, I mean, what that means is that if we are able to deploy this programmable hardware in our cloud, we will be able to start moving workloads over. Yeah. Uh, now, I, I should emphasize here that this is still a research project. Sure. You know, this is, I think our goal as researchers is to try to shift the industry. Um, but, but when you have a lot of programmable logic in your cloud, it's a target where you can start migrating services over. Each time you do, you might get 10x, 20x, tune mm -hmm. it some more, get 100x. And as you move more and more services over, you get more and more efficiency. Sure. So even if uh, Moore's Law stops, or even if, even if Moore's Law keeps going, but for cost reasons, our, our CPUs aren't getting that much faster, yeah. okay, this gives us a scaling path yeah, yeah. Uh, for some number of years. We can keep improving the performance of our services. We can keep improving the quality of our services running at larger scale. Mm -hmm. We can improve the efficiency of our services, the cost of our services, well past the end of Moore's Law. Yeah.